This video is sponsored by Decal Works, offering 10% off all graphics to retail customers. Use the promo code RX10 at decalmx.com to receive 10% off your graphics. Everybody, it's David Pingree with Racer X Online, and we got another garage build today. It's a 2004 Kawasaki KX250, and uh, this was built by Michael Fisher, uh, a friend of ours out of Nebraska. Jay Clark uh, kind of helped coordinate some of those parts and is a little more in tune with all of the things that went into building this. Jay, take us through it. Well, uh, Michael just went all out. Like I kind of do these builds and try to stay somewhat reasonable. He he didn't have any limits. I, I kind of talked to him about how much he spent and. He didn't seem to have much of a limit, and so he, he went he went all out, and, and I talked to him, and his wife was supportive of him spending nights out there working on this thing, and just went and did everything. That's a keeper. You marry her. You lock her in. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so, so yeah, so he just, you know, I got, they got long winters in Nebraska, way longer than, because we're riding in the winter, and they're working on dirt bikes in the garage all winter. So he went through and stripped this thing down to the frame, powder-coated the frame, and did the swing arm, kind of give it that matching Chad Reed's, you know, look that he did on his team back then, and just went through and did did everything on this motor. Rebuilt it with a wrench rabbit kit, and uh, all the bearings and seals with the all balls kits, all that stuff, uh, cables, all that stuff. And he went ahead and put the Electron on here, carburetor, so he wouldn't have to mess with jetting, and, um, and t tied that in with his, his Boyson uh, re cage with the covers uh, from Boyson as well. Um, and then we've got the Super Sprock sprockets, he's got the Warp 9 wheels, Dunlop tires, got a lot of good components and a really cool look with his, got his dad's company on here with their uh, custom graphics from Elusive Graphics. Elusive. Yeah, so they got a real cool chrome look to them. Moto seat did a, a new seat foam because they have foams now and seat cover as well. So, and then he, he updated the look of this thing really cool with uh, newer kind of plastic. He got the newer front end plastic on here and then he also makes these 08 kicks, 450 shrouds fit on here with some, you know, he just makes a few brackets and he's able to do it. I hadn't seen anybody do that before, so he's able to do that with our UFO plastic on here. Yeah, it really sharpens up the, the look of the bike. There's not a lot you can do for most people as far as these shrouds and stuff, so you're stuck with the that old look. So this is a really cool look for it. Exactly, and, and no one has an update kit for this specifically yet, so that's what he's able to do on this thing, and it was, you know, pretty top-notch, and I think you enjoyed riding it. What'd you think? So on the track, first thing I noticed right away, lots of horsepower on this thing. Um, just um, from from the roll on, you don't even really need to be on the clutch on this thing that hard. You, it had a really nice roll on, which is was not always the case with uh, two strokes back in this era. And then the, the power pulled really strong and steady all the way through the top. So I was really impressed with just the motor. Suspension worked really well also. Uh, a, not a whole lot of big bumps out here today, a little, little corner chatter and stuff like that. but. Uh, balanced off the jumps, just worked really nice, felt comfortable, laid into turns easy, and um, yeah, just a comfortable bike, really, to be honest with you. Um, those were the, the key things I noticed. Again, we didn't, couldn't do a whole lot of suspension testing today, but everything from the foot pegs, like the, you know, nice Renthal grips and bars, sort of everything that he, he really paid attention to detail. Uh, the Works Connection clutch perch is a, is a go-to for me. It's just really comfortable, so I liked all of that stuff. And he went and, you know, did steel braided lines on the brakes, and uh, you can just tell, like you said, he he really left no stone unturned trying to make this thing right. So uh, it paid off. The on the track, really fun to ride. That's that's awesome. Yeah, he made me look bad on these builds. Uh, I don't have I don't have that much time. Well, yeah, he's you're gonna have to step up your game, Jay. Um, and yeah, big thanks to Factory Connection on these for for doing such a good job. It's set up for him. Our weight doesn't seem like it's too different, so uh, it really was comfortable for me right away. Um, I would probably run a little bit lower bars. That's about the only thing I would change. Uh, he's a little taller than I am, so that makes sense. But yeah, super fun, really cool looking bike. I think he did one years ago that had a similar look and uh, he kind of one-upped it and went a little further with this one. So we're stoked, had a ball on this thing on the track. So thanks a lot, Michael, for letting us ride it. I'm sure you're gonna have a lot of fun. If you live back in the Midwest, you probably see this thing around and uh, go up and ask him about all the, the dollars he's got soaked into it and then give his wife a big hug, right? Exactly. So, all right. Thanks you for, thanks everybody for watching. Thanks to all the companies involved in this build. Thank you to Michael for letting us ride it. And we'll see you guys on the next garage build.